Hello everyone, I am Catechus Gaming, and today we will be continuing the guided walkthrough for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode, Princess Zelda showed off her Herculean strength by rocketing the Ocarina of Time halfway across Hyrule Field, which Link then used to obtain the Master Sword, but did end up giving Ganon access to the Triforce. Also, we sold some masks, so we did a lot. This episode, we'll head to Kakariko Village, but as an adult, so the bar I guess? Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. Well, there's our little title card there. As you can see, we have the uh, light token. <laughs> Only five more left to go for them sages. Now as an adult, we are starting off in the Temple of Time, and... Not much we can really do here. Um, we can't even go back to a child because, thanks Sheik, you're blocking the pedestal. Only thing we can do now is go forward and I guess see what Ganon did to Hyrule Castle Market Town. I assume nothing good. Yeah, nothing good indeed. Look at Death Mountain. That's uh, actually looking like death. Oh, but the Gossip Stone survived. That's good. Small miracles. Now, one thing you'll notice in the market here is everything is destroyed and the people are re-deads. However, when they scream, we, uh, we don't get scared as an adult. Now, you can kill them if you want. I don't recommend it. The Sun Song still works, but we're going to skip ahead. We're going to continue on to the gate area. Now, the guard room has been repurposed to the only shop in the area, but we can still cheese some pots. Link's a little taller, so they're a little harder to hit. So if you need some cash, feel free to pop some pots. Come on, Link. That's just embarrassing. Do note we will need a minimum of 70 bucks for the next part of the adventure. But if we talk to this little person here... Oh, you're quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome, too. <laughs> Your name is Link, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised. I can read people's minds. But if I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> yeah, my shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it's a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts, called Poes, are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyards. They hate the world! Young man, if you catch a Poe, I will pay a lot of money for it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this is actually part of a side quest for the last bottle, but we can't do it yet because we need a bow. So we'll be back. Just make sure you smash enough pots for at least 70 rupees. Probably 120 would be a safer bet. But out in Hyrule Field, there are going to be some differences. Like, there's no more stall children at night. The pea hats are all pea dead. And... Poes and ghosts roam the field, mostly in specified areas. As part of that side quest, there's 10 big Poes we gotta kill. But enough chatting. First thing we're gonna want to do: head to Lon Lon Ranch during the daytime. We gotta make we gotta make a friend. All right, Lon Lon Ranch is gonna be a little different, possibly under new management. So if we head all the way out to the corral, we're not going to see Malin anymore, but frickin' Ingo. You know, there are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... Don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. Just look at my lazy eyebrow and mustache. 
I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave me the ranch. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Uh, yeah, that sounds like fun. Do you want to hear how to ride? Uh, no, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, so for a limited amount of time, we'll have full access to the horses in the ranch. But there's only one horse we care about. So what we're going to want to do, pull out our ocarina and play Epona's song. Doing so is going to call her right on over to us. Hey, bud. How you doing? Now that we're an adult and the horse has grown up, we can actually hop on, and we can talk to Ingo. Well, when you want to dismount, stop and press this fourth wall breaking button. Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. Blah, 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 more fourth wall breaking items. Ready to go home so soon? Yeah, I'm done. So, just quit first round is just to make sure you know how to ride a horse. Second time, we gotta pay him 10 more rupees and go back in. No, I know how to ride. Don't worry. So we just gotta do the same exact thing again. Play Epona's song, then get on Epona. Come on, horse friend. Come hither. Okay, get get on the horse link. Get your horse legs. We only have 45 seconds left. Like before, we want to talk to Ingo. You're getting better, young boy. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees? Yeah, let's go. Now he's going to get a cheeky head start. Now he does take wide corner, so you can try to squeeze in between him and the fence. It's a little difficult. Or you could wait for the straightaway. But once you're ahead, all you have to do is wait for a carrot to respawn. Give it a go. Pretty much have infinite stamina at that point. And there we go, we won. Shoot! If the great Ganador found out about this humiliation... Hey, you. How about another race? If you win, you keep that horse. Yeah, straight into another race. It's the same exact race as before. Same exact head start for Ingo. Oh, we squeeze through. We squeeze through. Awesome. Now we just gotta hug the fence a little bit. It will slow you down if you touch it, so be careful. Just gotta maintain our lead. There we go. It looks like the horse is ours. Too easy. What's up with that horse? Is that a pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? Play the song, dude. I was gonna present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet on it in the race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give you the horse. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Oh, yeah, sure. Easy peasy. So, when you want to leave, and you're tired of racing around the track, all we got to do is head to this back corner, get a good running start, and leap over the fence. Just like that, we are Link the Horse Thief.
Now that we have a Pona, you may think we're done. We're not. There's actually something we can do if we head right back into Lon Lon Ranch. Just gotta round the corner. And again, make sure you enter during daytime and it looks like we're gonna cut it close here. And riding on a Pona. Ignore that ghost. It's part, that's a big Poe, part of that side quest. All right. Lon Lon Ranch, I believe, is the only town you can actually enter while on horseback. But hey, look at this. Ingo in his Luigi-looking outfit. Oh, hi there. How are you? I am Ingo. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here and not be hung from the rafters. Yeah. yeah you keep that in mind. But if we go to where Ingo was beforehand, check it out. Adult Malin. I'll thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. Really? Link? That's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. That was years ago. Do you remember me? Yeah, you're Melon. You do? I was sure it was you because Epona remembered you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. He was afraid that the evil king might find out that Epona had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being a normal, nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it. But well, peace is finally returning to this ranch. Tear in the eye. It's all because of you. I owe you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Link. What well, if we keep talking to her? Oh, Epona looks great. It looks like you were able to tame her, too. How about trying your skills with Epona on an obstacle course? I'll time you for two laps. It's pretty challenging, but if you miss a jump on a fence in the proper order, you'll fail. How about it? Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we gotta beat 50 seconds, and she's not joking, this is rather challenging. Okay, she's not joking. This is a rather challenging course. Um... We're gonna have to jump over a bunch of fences. The little fences are easy enough, but when they get taller, you're gonna have to use a carrot to make it over. And you're not gonna wanna take really wide turns, which is an equally frustrating thing. Because again, the fence will slow you down if you touch it. All right. First lap almost done at 25 seconds. We're a little too slow here. I have to try to speed it up. Try not to use all your carrots either, or you have to wait for them to fully respawn, which takes up time. Okay, home stretch, come on. Come on, come on, come on. 49 seconds, we did it! I am the best alive! That might also be an exaggeration. Oh, you did it, Barrett Boy! 49 seconds is the new course record! I have to give you a present to commemorate your new record. The present is a little too heavy to give you here, so I'll have it delivered to your house. Bet you can't wait to see it, Tay Hey. Yeah, we'll see it later. Um, so put a pin in that for now. But with that, we are officially done with Lon Lon Ranch. And we can now head to Kakariko. Oh, that race was challenging, though. I'll admit, it took me three tries. <laughs> Alright, now that we're in the field, just gonna want to race on over to the other side. Luckily, Kakariko's in the same exact place. Now, this time, day or night, doesn't really matter. We just want to be in the village. Okay, opponent doesn't like that bridge. Good to know. She can't enter town, so we're gonna have to leave her here. And she'll stay there, too, which is awesome. So, now in Kakariko, what we're gonna wanna do is head over to the graveyard. There's not much we can really do in the town yet. Not sure. <laughs> Look away for two seconds, and Link's just trying to race into a wall. Good job, bud. 
But you will notice a few differences, like they finished building this building. It's a new shooting gallery since the one in Market Square got destroyed. Once we get a bow, we'll go in for an upgrade. But for now, just head to the graveyard. Now again, there are a couple Poes just wandering about, but nothing to worry about. And if you head over to this corner where we planted the magic bean, it's now a full-blown magic plant. We can ride it up to this crate, get a concussion, and heal ourselves with another piece of heart. Awesome. Now the next thing we want to do is, I'm sure you've noticed, there's no Dampy. Uh, we're going to want to pull this grave and find out why. Pop right in. So future Catechus here. In the map I'm providing, the orange line is the best route for this race. Yeah, um, Dampy's dead. Hey, 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 young man. Are you fast on your feet? I may not look it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Yep, this is another race, but this time on foot. Now be careful, he will throw flames at very inconvenient locations. And we can roll to gain a little bit of speed, but getting burnt by the flames takes way too much time. Just like that. No, no. And occasionally he'll open doors that we have to get through or will fail. If you do fail or miss a door or want to restart, you can just wait for the door to close and that will just restart the whole whole thing. Okay, we can actually bypass him around these pillars. And I prefer to go straight at this point so we don't have to deal with his flames. Now here, we gotta make it, this is the last stretch, we gotta make it all the way to the top. Easy peasy. Time of this race was a minute three. Heh, <laughs> young man, you were very quick to be able to keep up with me. <laughs> As a reward, I'm gonna give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. It's a spring-loaded chain that'll pull you to any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it'll help you out. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'm bored. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> again, he sounds menacing, but he's not. But we do get one of the, I don't know, most common Zelda items, the hookshot. Which is super handy. I don't know how Dampy got it. I don't know why he buried it underground. But we got it, and that's all that matters. Actually going to equip it. Now, it does bring you to first person. You can't use it third person unless you're locked on to like an enemy or an item but when done if we head behind it we're gonna see these weird green blue stones that kind of look like the door of time whenever you see these you can just play the song of time and that'll take care of them easy peasy And for some reason, this links up to the windmill? Now, before you jump down, we're going to want to wait for the windmill platform to get over to us, because we can use it to jump to that piece of heart. Huzzah! There we go. That's the prize we want. Now, before you leave, Make sure you hop down, head over to this uh, very angry musical guy, and pull out your ocarina. What? You've got an ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time, seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came in here and played a strange song. 
He messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. And with that, we've learned the Song of Storms, the final normal song, I guess. All the other songs we'll learn are just teleport songs to dungeons or locations. And we'll need this song for a later uh, dungeon, but it's just easy to grab it now. Additionally, I kind of want to point out the time paradox that's also created. As an adult, we have to learn this song. So we can travel back in time to Young Link, play the song for him to get for that dungeon to where it angers him and he can teach it to us in the future. <laughs> I like it. But for now, there's another thing we can do with Dampy. If we race him again and get under a minute in time, he will give us another prize. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test our skills. Okay, now this is very difficult to do and frustrating. It's definitely going to take me more than one try. So if if you're having difficulties, we can wait until after the water temple when you get the long shot item. I was, Link got a cold. That's adorable. Uh, but the long shot item can skip the whole last spiral bit and you can just hook onto the torch up at the top and shave off like five seconds in time. But first thing I'm going to do is hop down so I don't have to start with a running dash. And then let's go. Rolling is still the fastest, but you can still get concussions or roll into fire around corners. If you get hit by two flames, you might as well just quit and restart. Well, there's one flame for us. Yeah, we're a couple seconds shy of where we should be here. Take a right. And a left, and a right. Get 35. Hang a right around this pillar. And then we can go straight to avoid some fire traps. A little worried on our time. Got 10 seconds to make it to the top. If we fall down that pit, it, we have to restart. Oh, in 58 seconds, we did it. Give me my prize, Dampy. This time of the race was 58 seconds. You're back, young man. Was the present I gave you fun and useful? Yeah. Um, you'll give us a heart piece. And with that, that's number 20. That's another heart container, and we just started the second row. Awesome. I'm saving because I'm never doing that again. Beautiful. Now it's done. We still have to exit through the windmill because we have to. And we can hop outside and get the rest of the treasures in Kakariko at this time. So first thing we're going to want to do is just hop on top of the fence straight out of the door and use our new hook shot and we can latch onto this blue roof. And if we talk to this guy, we get another little present. Oh, come on. Talk to me. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. I have no idea who you are. And why is the ring from Death Mountain clipping through the heart piece? What is this? <laughs> All right, we got another heart piece. Fantastic. Now, before we leave, just parkour down. And we want to head towards the Gold Skulleta house. And if we walk up the stairs behind it, believe it or not, this is actually Impa's house up these stairs. But we don't have to worry about her. We want to stand up here, hook shot to the Skulleta roof, turn around, and hook shot to, to Impa's roof. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it. Okay. We have a, we have a short hook shot, so we got to get right to the edge there. There we are. Now up here at nighttime is a Skulleta. 
Now, just like the boomerang, we can use the hook shot to collect things from afar. So keep that in mind. But hey, number 45. Fantastic. Now we're done in Kakariko. So we're gonna pop on out of here. Kinda wish we had some magic. Meter's looking a little empty up there. Gotta get some green gas for my spell fuel stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Apona, Apona, where art thou, Apona? Oh, right where I left you. You're a good horse. Don't you know there's ghosts out here, Apona? Aren't you afraid of the hauntings? Alright, enough stupid banter. Now that we have the hookshot, we can backtrack a little bit to Hyrule Castle Grounds. Leave her right outside the broken bridge. Race on in pretty quick. You don't have to do this now. I just don't want to forget to do it. But if we head through all these re-deads, we can make our way through the only other exit um, that's really available to the castle itself. Which I'm sure you're imagining isn't faring too well. Jeez, Ganon. Hate what you did with the place. Yeah. That's, um, that's Ganon's castle. Needless to say, we'll be back later. But really what we want to do here is if we follow the trail under this archway, on the other side of it is another Skulleta. There's the scritch scratch sound. Now that we have the hook shot, we can blast him. There we are, token 46. Okay, enough horsing around, now we can continue on with the game. So what we're going to want to do is backtrack out to Hyrule Field. Now in the field, what we're going to want to do to continue the game is use Sheik's Clue from the last episode and head to Kokori Forest and complete the Forest Temple. Luckily we have Epona, so <laughs> Hyrule Field traveling is no longer so tedious. And, well, as Adult Link. Now, she is rather difficult to maneuver inside the little pathway here, so I'm gonna leave her just outside. Parker horse. We're gonna head on in and see how the old gang is doing. Are they even gonna recognize me as a big guy? Well, so far so good. This area sounds the same. Oh crap. Yeah, immediately as you come in, you're gonna be attacked by a big Deku Baba. You fight him exactly how he used to, and they drop the same thing, sticks and nuts. There's also mad scrubs. The heck's going on here? Haha, -ha, I can hookshot you. What are you gonna do now, scrub? This is pretty terrifying here. There's even a Baba outside of our house. Well, this place is gone to ruin. But Malin did say she gave us a present at her house. Come on, Link. Climb your own ladder. Come on. Now our prize for Malin's race is a cow. We own a cow now. How she got it up here? I'll never know. I kind of don't want to know either, but we have an unlimited supply of milk in our own house. Or a very limited supply of beef? This is ridiculous. I don't even have anything in our pots. Somehow I don't think this bed is big enough anymore. Link, you're such a giant in your own home. Alright, enough forcing around. Careful when you leave, because that Baba is right there. Now what we're going to want to do is head over to the twins' house. And the... 
that's the house with the two pillars up here. And watch out for the Octoroks in the water. This place is just nightmarish. But on top of the twins' house is another gold skeleton. Lucky 47. Nice. Now that we have that, our goal is the Lost Woods. So we gotta find uh, that douchebag Mido's house. There we are. Just gotta hop up behind here. More enemies up here, crying out loud. I was just joking about the Lost Woods being dangerous. Ah, at least the music's still here. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is head right, uh, but first thing I wanna show off is there's a new enemy. We hop down to the bottom. Yeah, the Skull Kids are now our enemies. And But if we kill them, which which you can do, they're just very wily, and they will disappear after a while. There we go. They take four hits. Come on. Ah, he disappeared. They, okay, they both vanished. Lame. If you can land four hits on them, they will drop a gold rupee. So, mondo bucks right there. It's just very hard. But anyway the top of the stairs we're gonna want to head through this pathway we're gonna skip the Gorons and go right skip uh Mido Mido what are you doing here hey what are you though you wear Kokirish clothing you can't fool me I promise Saria that I the great Mido would never let anyone go through here ah uh, Mido you're always annoying but we're gonna have to play Saria's song. That's the trick. Uh, okay, never mind. Let's play it correctly. We gotta prove to the great Mido douchebag that we are Saria's friend. Hey, that melody. Saria plays that song like all the time. You, do you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember, you know, that kid I don't like. Yeah. Maybe you should remember to take that stick out of your butt. Now this is the pathway to the Zoras, but we don't need it, so ignore it and head through the gateway that Mido is blocking. Now a little detour, we're gonna wanna hang a left to the forest stage because we planted a magic bean. And at the top of the magic bean is another gold skeleton. Hooray! Just like that, we have number 48. Now we can continue on. So when we leave the forest meadow, we're gonna wanna go left. And now here, we're gonna wanna take another left. And if we take a right, this will lead us into the Sacred Forest Meadow. This is where we learned Saria's song in the first place. Now be careful! Hey, from here on, we're gonna go through some very narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use fourth wall breaking buttons to look in proper directions. Okay, Navi, I get it. Fourth wall buttons. Come on. Killing me here. Alright, now what she's hinting at is, yeah, there are moblin guards. We ready our hook shot, pop around the corner, and bop them in the butt, they'll die. They're not very tough. But if they see you, or if you get close for a sword stab, they are gonna just... Yeah, go ham and charge at you. You don't want that. Plus, I don't think you can actually sword them. There we are. Got him in the front. So yeah, that's what you're going to have to do, is watch out for the Moblin Guards. Yeah, there's one. Come on, bud. Let me get you. 
Oh, we missed. Missed, ag missed again? Got it. It's a little tricky. But we gotta keep working our way through. And eventually we'll get to where we learn Saria's song. Uh, he's gonna be a nuisance. Alright, bud. Slowly clump down like a frickin' at-at. Get him. And another one's down, and another one's down. Now be careful getting out of this pond. There's a good chance there's gonna be one facing you. Oh, hey, we got lucky. He's around the corner to the left at the other end. But before we continue on, if we climb this stubby little ladder, we can get to the top and get ourselves yet another Skeleta token. Lucky 49. One more to go for our next prize. And if you need any heart pieces, or if, if you took a lot of damage, or you have any empty bottles, definitely jump down here into this hole. The fairy fountain is still active, people. The fairy fountain is still active. But we're good. We're maxed out, so we could just skip on through. Now be very careful of this guy. This is a club moblin. And if his club or those uh, very obnoxious lines in the ground hit us, we'll go flying back. You just want to get close, shield down, and just stab, uh, push the attack button, and you'll do a quick stab. Hit him three times, and you'll die. Now we can continue on. It's very cinematic here. And hazy. What's with the haze? Aw, Saria's not there. Cheek, are you stalking me? Because that would be fabulous. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest. So yeah, every time we get to one of these spots, Sheets, Sheik is gonna show up and teach us a teleport song. Super handy. And there's one for each dungeon. we get a nice little musical number. So nice. Link, I'll see you again. I knew you were stalking me. Ugh, you could just leave like a normal person. Honestly. There we are. And just like the other songs, that will show... Um, and just like the other songs, the teleport songs will show up on the status screen. In case you forget, they are rather tricky at times. But for now, I think this is where we call it quits. This has been part 11 of our Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time guided walkthrough, where we raced a dead guy, got a horse, and learned a teleportation song. Now stay tuned for the next episode as we clear the forest temple and free a sage. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.